Hi, welcome back to the Leadership Help Desk where we're still doing our series uh, for small business and small business marketing. Uh, doing a little analysis here. Our topic for today is a positioning map. The purpose of the positioning map is to, to find out where we or you stand in comparison to the competition based on two variables. The most generic way to do this is quality, however you define that, and price. Uh, we have less quality, we're going to map things out here, less quality, more quality, less price, uh, higher price. So if we look at the market, we look at the competition, uh, you know with me in this, the marketing uh, videos, we compare ourselves to Bubba sometimes. Uh, Bubba is positioned on this map uh, as being lower in quality, you know, relatively speaking, and higher, more priced. So Bubba, whatever business he's in, would be positioned down there. So he has relative low quality and a, and a high price. He doesn't really care. So now where do you need to be compared to Bubba? Well, if you could be a higher quality, higher quality, and at a lower price than Bubba, and toss in some of that stuff from uh, your market offering, show you care, you're knowledgeable, flexible, uh, you give people the time of day, uh, all part of your quality. See, you can position yourself in a better place compared to Bubba. Generally speaking, I have this trough here because that's kind of how it goes. The people who have low quality and a high price, see, probably aren't going to last long. And to have a super high quality at a low baller price, that's not too common for long either. So things generally move in this direction with some sort of amount of quality for price. Now you could think of this, uh, maybe the restaurants around town, right? You have, uh, I don't know, I, we could go through a list, I, I'm not too familiar. Uh, how would it look uh, with McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Five Guys, and In-N-Out Burger? How would it look? Where would they be? Seems like Five Guys uh, has free peanuts, they always toss in that extra fry that you're, you know you're paying for. Uh, so they have uh, in high quality. So they have relatively high quality, but a higher price. So they would be up here. Wendy's would be down here maybe. Uh, McDonald's here and whatnot. Uh, so uh, what about other restaurants? Applebee's, Chili's. Is that a, is that a restaurant? Uh, <laughs> I'm so out of touch. Uh, whatever they show on TV. You think about the, uh, one of the previous videos where we talked about share of the mind, the evoked set. Just pick an industry and then pick the, the businesses that you think of in that industry and where would they be on the map. Now, we don't have to just do it with quality and price, although that's popular. Uh, we could do quantity and price. You know, if you want to eat a lot, go to the all-you-can-eat buffet. Uh, it might cost you a little bit more, but the quantity, if we replace quality with quantity, would be off the charts. We could do quality and convenience. Starbucks. They're very convenient because they're everywhere, and they supposedly have a high quality. So we could map out all the coffee places based on quality and convenience. <clears throat> quality and flexibility. It depends on what the customers want and what your business is. Maybe speed and price. Uh, two restaurants are the same as far as price goes, but one of them's quicker than the other one, right? So we would find out where that would be. And <clears throat> what about overall service versus price? You know, uh, they have a great deal, but their service is horrible. So maybe I would want to position myself uh, uh, in re uh, relation to the competition higher on the service. I want to give them more. 
uh, and for a restaurant as well atmosphere and price so when we if we look at that you're considering as a small business you want to get into something and you look at your competition going back to using quality whatever that means and price you might find out that a lot of people are right in here maybe your competition is right there which means that there would be a place for a maybe a slightly lower price and a higher quality you know quality and price there is a relation many times sometimes there's not but maybe you could strip down your services and go here when we think of southwest what do we air southwest air what do we think of we think of low prices and basically not low quality uh, but fewer services so uh, we change that for services so maybe American Airlines is up there uh, United Airlines is right there and Southwest is right there see they found that little spot down here they've got it to themselves for those customers who value low price and basically low services uh, that's where they hit that's what they went <clears throat> now what what is uh, Virgin Airlines Virgin as far as I know I've never even seen a Virgin airplane but the price would be I would think high and they found that price up there champagne for everybody you get a bed uh, you know premium service premium food and you pay for it so you have the majority of airlines stay in that place then we get down to Southwest and yeah they got hit by jet blue I guess and a bunch of others and then we have maybe Virgin up there so for whatever business industry service you're going for where are you going to be in relation to the customer what is important to the customer where is there an open gap that you might pick to cater to that customer that target market so that's pretty easy uh, the positioning map and where you're going to stand relative to the, uh, the competition got it hope so on to the next concept subscribe if you'd like and have a nice day